So for today, we're going to be looking at some of the dungeon armor from the new duality dungeon. We're going to specifically be looking at the chest piece for each of the classes because I've made a look revolving around the chest piece for each of them. It kind of just happened by accident. Not saying other pieces suck. Actually, I would be tempted to make even another video with just separate pieces of the armor sets because all of them are really good aside from maybe the arms for the warlock and then maybe the cloak for the hunter that one's pretty weird other than that everything every piece is like super super cool so if you guys like these videos like comment subscribe really does help the channel grow and i thank you for doing so but other than that let's just get into the actual video so this is my hunter uh obviously i'm going for a tactical look and this is true for every of the classes we're going for a tactical look so expect pouches expect armor expect uh bullets as in like uh our ammo pieces and whatnot specifically like on the armor here so just expect stuff like that knives exp anything that looks tactical feels tactical i'm gonna try my best to put into the armor piece or set so for the first one we're gonna be looking at the eidolon pursuant armor uh specifically the helmet this one is so good for tactical you have the heads piece right here you have the gas mask it just fits perfectly in my opinion if you are not a fan of this one which is fair you can do other pieces for sure you can do like this one i think this one's fine for tactical any helmet really will go well with it this one's also pretty good uh just because of the gas mask and whatnot but again there's just so many pieces to choose from that it, there really is no right or wrong answer but i think the gas mask really elevates a piece to look tactical even more in my opinion uh i would say stay away from this one though if you're going for tactical and you put this one on i'm, I'm, I'm gonna laugh at you this one's also pretty good but again for me personally this is the best of both worlds you get a gas mask and a headset which is really cool uh, for the arms, we are using the uh, Dimus Born Grips from the 30th anniversary. And this one, I think, needs no introduction. Like, it really does not need... I don't need to explain why this is tactical. Uh, we have the ammo feed right here. And just... I don't know. Just to me, it screams tactical. Obviously, we have other pieces that you could be using. If you don't like that for whatever weird reason, you could use this one, which is from... The Kristen Christocreen grips from the uh I was about to say Witch Queen. Uh Beyond Light. This is from Beyond Light. It's definitely cool, definitely one of my favorites. And this I actually actually I would be using this if if I wasn't using the arms already, then I would switch out with the boots with uh this one right here. You could also do something like this. And I actually do like this a lot more because it the armor piece is skinnier. So this actually does make a lot more sense. And you have bullets right here as well. So this does look cool in my opinion. You just have to switch the shaders around because these shaders that I have on specifically are here. Because uh, as you guys see, I'm using different shaders with different pieces of armor. I usually never really do this because it's just such a flex thing to do. And at the end of the day, you really don't need to do it. But it all started with the boots. The boots uh, has this like wiring thing, like net thing. And the cloak also has that. So I was like, fuck it, let's try to actually make him white. Well, this one's all white on the, on, it's always white, but I wanted to make the white on the pants, which was pretty difficult. As you guys can see, I'm using a shader from Vanilla Destiny 2, Suro's Modular Shine. Uh, there's other pieces that do make the, the net white, but to me, this one just feels the best because the red is actually pretty close to this red up here and the white is very bright which is also something i really wanted as for the chest piece again we're using the chest piece the deep explorer vest uh mostly because i really like it i think it's one of my favorite pieces from that whole thing i'm only missing the cloak on the on the hunter so once we have that cloak and complete the rest for the warlock i'll, I'll make the actual video because i was going to do it separately but i don't want to do them separately a because making the thumbnail is going to be annoying and b i just want to have all of the armor pieces for everyone so hunters let me know what you guys think obviously with this setup you can actually just really go ham with whatever piece you want to use like let's say if you want to use this one i already have the shader for it you can do that this looks really cool for tactical look if you want to use a helmet go ham you can use this helmet if you want uh yeah this is like one of the main reasons why i went with a tactical look because there's a lot of pieces where i just want to go tactical 
and I think that being like having a tactical look is just so important. Uh, next up is the Titans. As for the Titans, we are also not using an exotic just because I wanted I wanted to make it very uh, exotic friendly, so that way you can slot whichever thing you want in there. Uh, obviously, some exotics are going to need different armor pieces, but I think this is a really good uh, starting point. For the helmet, we are using the Exodus Down Helm. This is from Nestus. You can still pick this up right now if you want to. And I would recommend this helmet just because it's really good for tactical uh, because of this thing right here. It looks like a camera to me, which is why I'm using it. But if you want to use other pieces, you can probably use this one. This one's not too bad in my opinion. Uh, this one's also really good and I was really close to using it. But it doesn't give off like military vibe. It gives off well, kind of, but not the military that I was going for. I was going more of a like a spec ops team going in and the camera really helps. And this right here also, I don't know. Arms, we're using something I never thought I'd be using the Phobos Warden armors. And the reason I'm not a big fan of this is only because of the big balls right here. These two balls right here, you can actually see when you're playing the game. And it's kind of jarring to see these big balls here. Other than that, I think the whole arms are really cool. I really like the wire right here. I, again, the camera thing here is really cool, which is why I even got it. Because I was like, I love the, the fact that he's wearing two of them. And I really want to fuck with that. So that's why I put both of them there. Chest piece. Obviously, we're using the chest piece from the dungeon, like I said. And this one, honestly, is so cool. It's a little sad that the armor is kind of like small but it it fixes uh or it does something that I, I like with titan armor which is essentially covering the back it doesn't do like it, it's not as crazy as like for example this one because it, it goes up it goes all the way up but it does a better job than most because like this for example i think that's way too much that's a little too much if the if these were like a little higher it would be way better but I, I'm like, this is this is fine. It could be a little bit bigger, but at the same time, I'm okay with it. Uh, boots, I am wearing the Wildwood Greaves. These are one of my favorite boots for a tactical look, mostly because of the net right here, plus the ammo stuff here, and the, the bandage here is also really cool. So uh, last but not least, we have the 30th anniversary mark, the Ring Walker mark. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, we have like a flashbang here. We have more stuff over here and then we have these plates, which I don't even know what the fuck they are. And then this here and another like, oh wow, a clip there. Like to me, this just screams like tactical. It could be a little bit more tactical, but at the same time, uh, like you could use something like this. I'm not the biggest fan of this cloak right here because the colors is terrible. Uh, it colors very, very terribly in my opinion. It literally just, it looks like it looks terrible. That's all I can really say. Uh, you could probably end up using something like this. I think the chain right here was a little too ornamental for for what I was going for because they're this is more of a spec ops team that that values like um, functionality over looks, which is why uh, some people may say this looks kind of boring, but that's because it's going for functionality, not looks, which is why I like it a lot. Uh, next up is Warlocks, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which this one is actually the only one that is using an or an, an, And last but not least, we have the Warlocks. This one is actually using an exotic for, for obvious reasons. These boots are very tactical. They have literal camo. They have a bunch of ammo on them, patches. That's why I went with it. So helmet, we are going with another piece that I didn't think I was going to go for, Cinder Pinion Cover. Uh, this is the same reason as the, the Titan got the, the their helmet is because of the camera thing here. I think that's very tactical. Uh, the arms are the only thing that's not tactical about them. But to be fair, the what the piece I actually did want to use are a little too bulky for my taste. So uh, if the arms were a little bit more bulky, I would have loved to have used these because I mean, come on, this looks bulky like this big piece of armor, of course, is going to be better. But I decided to use this because a it's the off color, which is great, it has camo, um, which is this shader Gambit Celadon, which is from Season of the Undying. So this is a shader. This is an old shader, but this, this is the reason why I'm using this shader is because it has camo in it. 
and obviously there's camo here so it just felt right to combine both of them speaking of which the chest piece is the deep explorer uh, chest piece this is probably one of the better chest pieces if you want to go for a tactical look because a you have that flap jacket type feel here and on the side you have this really cool like juggernaut uh chest piece from like cod at least that's what i uh, that's what it reminds me of boots we have again this exotic reign of fire it looks really cool uh very tactical like that's why that's why this video became a thing because these boots were i was like man this looks very tactical and the chest piece was very tactical and i was like why don't i just go for a tactical video and that here we are and last but not least we have this glass thing that almost kind of looks like a shield to me which is why i decided to use it Overall, I really like this look a lot. If I were to change one thing, it would be the arms because I feel like the arms are a little bit too flashy. Uh, but again, there's just not like I was thinking about this one. This one is definitely one I you could use. It's just that I don't like that this part right here is not on the other side. I know it's a small thing. It's just I'm dumb that way. But if you guys do, if Warlocks, if you guys have a tactical one that you guys like, by all means, slap that on instead because. Uh, Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the basic one, this one right here. I was thinking about this one. No, no, not that one. Where are you? Is it this one? Not that one. This one. No. Where is it? Isn't it? It's a, it's an Iron Banner one. At least I, I thought it was. Oh, it's this one. I was thinking about using this one, which I still think it looks really good. And if I'm being quite honest, this one would be the best one because now that I look, but look at the only reason is because there's not a lot of like plate armor in this armor set and in, in this whole set so that's why i was like kind of not liking it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below warlocks titans hunters let me know what you guys think Wh which one do you guys think uh is the best looking one personally i love the hunter one a lot just because of the nets but i also love the warlocks i think the warlocks just look so amazing not saying the titans look bad it's just i think they need a little bit more tactical pieces to really make it even better because i'm stretching for some of those pieces but the warlocks hunters they all got really good pieces to work around so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys later